So far we've seen that MATLAB is a really good tool for manipulating numbers and for graphing functions. But it's actually a lot more than that. MATLAB is a programming language in its own right. Every time that we develop a technique for doing something, we're going to be able to write down step by step and program MATLAB to do it for us. For example, suppose you wanted to figure out the first 10 Fibonacci numbers. Now, the Fibonacci numbers, the first one is 1, and the second one is also 1, and after that, each one is the sum of the previous two. So we're going to write a short program to figure out the third, fourth, fifth, sixth, all the way up to the tenth Fibonacci number. Now, I could do it by writing f of 3 equals f of 1 plus f of 2, f of 4 equals f of 2 plus f of 3, and so on, but that's a pain. It's easier to do it with a loop. So we just say for j equals 3 up to 10 and hit return. And it says continue entering statement because it knows that the statement isn't done. So then I say what I do for each value of j. I let f of j equals f of j minus 1 plus f of j minus 2. Whoops, better make it a capital. And I'll put a semicolon because I don't want to see the output until we're all done. And then I type n. And then if I look at f, there we go. We've got the list of the first 10 Fibonacci numbers. Now, if I didn't want the first 10 Fibonacci numbers, but I wanted the first 20, I could have done the same thing. The only difference is that instead of doing going from 3 to 10, I would have just done from 3 to 20. And now we've got the first 20 Fibonacci numbers. And the fact is, if we do, if one day you want to have the first 10 and one day you want the first 20, you don't want to have to type the commands over and over and over again. You want to write them, type them once and for all. And I did that. There's a computer program. It's a function, fib of n, and it computes the first n Fibonacci numbers. You tell it how many you want, and then it does exactly the program that we just did, the simple loop, where you fix the first two numbers, and then from as you go from 3 to n, figure out one more Fibonacci number at a time until you've got your whole array. If you make that, that and you save it as a file, fib.m, then as long as you're working in the correct directory, MATLAB will understand what to do with that. So if we say fib of 13, there are the first 13 Fibonacci numbers. If we say fib of 20, there are the first 20 Fibonacci numbers. Okay, so we've got the program. Now, if we were in a different directory, here's the directory that doesn't have fib in it. If I say fib of 13, it tells me there's an error. There's no, there's no uh, fib.m file. But as long as we are in the directory that has all of these m files, they all work.